Thank you for joining me for today's video. Today we're going to turn a cake into a pineapple cake. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to draw with me. To start drawing our cake, we're going to start on the left hand side. We're going to draw a straight line down. This is going to be how tall our cake is. This is the point of our cake. On the bottom, we're going to draw a diagonal line. This will be how long or how wide our cake is going to be. We're going to have an imaginary line on the top to follow. You can draw it really lightly if you want. And we're going to draw the frosting. We're going to draw a wavy line down and then a longer one and a shorter one and a longer one and then end with a straight line down. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. I didn't leave quite enough room for the frosting that's on the outer edge. All right, now I'm going to draw another diagonal line in the back. That's that shows the top of the cake. And then a straight line down on the side will show where the extra frosting is on the outside of the cake. And a little curve on the end. And I'm going to curve up at the top. And now I'm going to draw little dollops of icing. So I'm going to draw one. And then instead of drawing another one, I'm going to draw the little green pineapple top. So I draw a line that shows the edge of the cake, draw a curve line up and curve back down. This will be the leafy part. Another curve up and down. And then a curve up and down and one more. And then one more dollop of icing. Just fixing it a little to line up the bottom of the leaves with the where the edge of the cake should be. And now we're going to put eyes on. Nice big round eyes. And then on each eye we're going to do a half circle on the top and then a smaller half circle on the bottom. That'll be the reflections in the eye. And it's okay if you have a little icing showing through. I had to go on top of my icing because that's where the eyeballs needed to be. That can be covered with marker later or erased. For the mouth, we're going to do a little curve with a loop so it looks like his tongue is sticking out. And now we're going to turn it into a pineapple. We're going to draw curved lines. Leave quite a big bit of space between them. This is going to show like the... Um, these will be the brown lines that will be on your pineapple, like on the outside of a pineapple. Okay, one direction, and then we also go the other direction with our curved lines, leaving space. And all these lines are going to go behind the icing, behind the eyeballs, so that the icing looks like it's on top. All right, now it's a pineapple, so now we're going to outline with a permanent marker. We're going to outline almost everything with the black marker. The only thing that we're not going to do is those lines that made it look like the outside of a pineapple because we're going to do those in brown. Everything else should be outlined with the black permanent marker. Okay, for the eyes, you outline and then fill in the middle part. This will cover any lines of the icing that are showing, but you will need to erase them inside the eyeballs or inside the white part of the eyeballs. When you outline his mouth, be very careful when you do the tongue because if you go too fast and not pay attention, it can get filled in because it's such a tiny spot. All right, and now we're going to get out a brown, thin, permanent marker for the lines on the outside of the pineapple. If you don't have a brown, thin, permanent marker, you can do this part with the black permanent marker. It just looks better with the brown, but it looks just as good with the black permanent marker. And make sure it is permanent. Don't try to use a regular brown because when you try to, when you color the yellow over it, it'll start smearing. Ok, 
Okay, now we're going to erase any pencil that you might have missed with a permanent marker, especially in the eyes if you want on top of your dripping frosting. You'll want to get rid of those that are inside the white of the eyes. Just a quick little once over to get everything cleaned up. And then we're going to start coloring with a yellow marker. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me color the whole time. You can go right over the brown permanent marker lines. They're not going to smear. It makes it much easier for coloring if you can go right over them. For the frosting, I'm going to use brown. You could use green if you wanted to. Um, I just use brown because it matches the lines on the pineapple and I'm, I'm going to use green in a little bit. So for the dollops of icing on top and the leaves. I'm going to use a green. And now we're going to put a little pink on the tongue. And your pineapple cake is done. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming. We're going to transform a lot more cakes and a bunch of other things.